and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna, and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Here on my channel, I do planner and planner related videos with the occasional new release video of items that I've listed to my Etsy shop. And if that is of interest to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hit that little notification bell, you'll always be notified of when I do load a new video. And if you could also comment, like, and share that would be amazing andy nija here on youtube and i'll link her channel below reached out to me via instagram regarding being part of a collaboration regarding franken planning and so uh, this is my video in collaboration with that now i do have a franken planner um, but it is not traditional and i know that sounds weird um, but there is from what I've seen, a traditional route that people tend to go with Franken planning, specifically in the Happy Planner community. I know that um, I think Tarshell B has done some videos, um, maybe even Tamara, on Franken planning in an Erin Condren. But most of the Franken planning that I see is in the Happy Planner community. And I'll list the questions below that Andy and Nigel wanted us to answer. And question number one is what is Franken Franken planning to you? And Franken planning to me, the way that I understand it is you take multiple planners, whether you have the socialite planner or the faith planner, the wellness planner, the dashboard layout, the vertical layout, the horizontal layout, and you sort of make a composite planner that has pieces of that, whether every week you have a different layout, whether every month you have a different layout, whether you make a Franken planner transformer where you have multiple planners in one planner. I've seen a gamut of both, but to me, it's really about taking you know, two, three, five, eight different planners, different planner layouts, different planner designs, and creating one planner that fits all of your needs so that you are not constantly having to work in a multiple of planners. And so for me, that's what Franken planning means. Question two is why do I Franken plan? Well, again, mine is not in the traditional style because I've never had multiple planners. Uh, I used to plan in a big happy planner in the vertical style that I eventually became very adept at turning into the dashboard layout, um, but that's the only planner I've ever had. Here in Hawaii, it is actually rather difficult to get them and rather costly. I know if you can uh, get to a Michael's or Joann's in the mainland, um, you can actually pick them up quite easily which sometimes can be a problem. And you know, if you can stack the coupons or do the price match, I've heard people get them for really low prices. When I picked up my Big Happy Planner, it was on sale for $26, normal 30. Walmart doesn't run um, sales like Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby does. And I've never seen Happy Planner items in clearance here because I mean, there's just so limited product, it never actually gets to that point. So I don't Franken plan a bunch of different styles of planners. Um, I make my own Franken planning just because there's just certain products that I prefer. And which leads into question three, which is how do you Franken plan? And so what I have Franken planned is my budget planner. And this is actually a composite of a variety of different things. Some of them happy planner, some of them not. So for instance, happy planner sticker, happy planner discs, file folder, laminated and punched. Um, again, happy planner stickers. These dividers are actually dividers that go into a binder system. They're just tabbed dividers that I cut down and punched for um, a divider system. For my monthly calendar, which starts here, uh, this was a hanging wall calendar that I picked up, I think three of them, maybe one. I don't remember, but I have a video, I'll link the video below. But basically I picked up a whole bunch of um, hanging wall calendars that would fit that I cut down to use as a monthly overview. Now in my budget planner, I don't use the monthly overview like most budget 
planner people do, uh, but I still wanted to have it. And I figured um, I could pick up these calendars. I believe they were like a dollar for a calendar set. And I think I used two or three of them. Again, it might have just been one. I don't remember. But um, I thought that was good compromise that I didn't have to draw it out myself. Again, happy planner stickers. And the reason that I wanted to make this is because originally I was doing my budget plan with me's in an Erin Condren. But I hate the coil. I hate the coil. I hate the spiral. I hate book bound systems. If it's not on a disc where I can take the paper out, I have learned it is not for me. And so in the video where I put this together, I actually just ripped out the Erin Condren pages because I love the paper quality of an Erin Condren hate the coil, and then I put it together with the dividers and the hanging wall calendar and some happy planner paper on a disc bound system that I can easily move around as need be, or more importantly, if I'm, you know, doing a recap here and then I want to copy over some monies or some figures in the next one, I can actually just pull it out. I mean, that's the entire beauty of a disc bound system. So in my Franken planning sense, I have taken pieces like an actual Frankenstein, a piece here, a piece here, a piece here, and a piece here, and then just made it work with the disc bound system being the cohesive unit of the whole thing. So there are, um, cause this paper is Happy Planner paper from an accessory pack. And then I have regular just um, dot grid paper from a dot grid pack that I had. Um, but that's really the only Happy Planner portions in here. The budget accessory pack where you had all the, the budget things never appealed to me because I don't budget the way that people do. So when I Franken planned, I just really took pieces that I either had or picked up specifically for this uh, just to make it into a budget system that really worked um, for my style and my needs. And question number four kind of ties into that, which is what are your tips for Franken planning? Um, I don't think there's any rules. So whether you do like I did and you have a piece of um, an Erin Condren that you want to finish up or you have some old Happy Planner products or you have some eight and a half by 11 that you cut down uh, if you're doing the classic size. If you're doing the big size, you don't even have to cut that down. If you're doing a printables, but then you also have some monthly calendars from an old you know, planner system that you have, Happy Planner or not. Um, I really think that the thing you should remember is this should be your tool designed to help you become either more organized or more efficient or just give you more focus on what it is that you're using this for. This helps me uh, with my budget because I know I'm always coming back to this. And actually, I only have two planner systems. I have this and I have my Happy Nietzsche. Those are the only two planners that I have. Those are the only two planners, at least at this time, that I need. So, for me, I guess, if you have access to multiple planners or if you have multiple planners, then Franken planning might be easier. Uh, if you are like me and you didn't have multiple planners, well then, your Franken planning might not be what you see on YouTube or Instagram. It might be you've picked up pieces here and there that are functional to you, whether it's your kid's school schedule or whether it's your work schedule or whether it's a printable that you picked up but you have all in one system. Really, just think of Frankenstein where you know his arm was one thing, his heart was another thing, his eyeball was another thing. I have never actually watched Frankenstein movie, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And you're just putting it all in one cohesive unit. So there are no rules. You might think there are rules, but they're not. Um, and just really just bring things together that fit in a planner system. The disbound system is the easiest because um, it's easy to take on and off. Um, Franken planning and Erin Condren, again, watch Tarshell and Tamra, um, is a little harder because you have to uncoil and coil. I hate the coil, so that was never going to be a thing for me. But just know that these are your tools and they're gonna do what you tell them to do, mostly. <laughs> Sometimes they can be stubborn and they don't wanna fit, but you know, mostly they are here to, um, 
do what you tell them. And if you have all the things, great, put them together into one mega thing. And if you don't, um, then just be resourceful and look at items that are inexpensive, that are easily to obtain in your area, and then just make your own. No rules, no right, no wrong. And the last thing is, what would you say to someone who is curious about, wants to start, or is consider Franken planning? So if you are like some that I've seen on YouTube where you just have a multiple of planners because all the new planners came out for the July release and they're beautiful and they're shiny and they're this layout and that layout and the happy notes and the half sheets and the minis and the micro minis and the things and the that. And now you're, you have all of this product and you don't know what to use it for. Franken planning could be a way that you test it out in a more manageable space because having an entire, you know, mountain of planners might be intimidating, might be overwhelming. But if you just take sections, either you do a week or you do a month and you have three months, one month might be from your miss maker. One month might be uh, your homestead. One month might be the gem one. Again, I don't have any planners, so I, I'm just sort of thinking of planners I've seen. Um, then it makes it manageable. If you put one section, um, you do one month at a time, and you have your wrong wrong, and then you have a section for your wellness, and then you have a month for your faith, and then you have a month for your kids' activities, or you have one for your work activities, or you have one for your creative ideas and YouTube or Instagram or whatever. That can be a way that you're utilizing your tools but you're not faced with a mountain of tools. You just have the one and you can just flip into the sections. Bada boom, I'm here. And bada boom, I'm here. And it's still useful and it still works. And yet it isn't so intimidating or overwhelming. I, I, I'm a firm believer that you make the paper and the pen and the things work for you. This should not tell you what to do. You are telling this what to do. Happy Planner puts out amazing products. Erin Condren, Kiki K, Carpe Diem. If you have a composition notebook, whatever system you're using and you can put other systems together, because I was just thinking it's not so easy with a composition notebook, although it can be done with uh, some washi tape. <laughs> it just makes it really bulky. But again, Franken planning is just really designed to either change up layouts because you get bored easily or encompass various types of planners because you don't want to lug around eight planners on the go and working for you in your planner style. And the thing, especially with the disc bound system, if you don't like it, if it doesn't work for you, if you'd rather not lug it around, rip it out, put it back where it came from, and then work on something else. I mean, just because you do it like this today doesn't mean like this has to stay like this tomorrow. That's the beauty of Franken planning. Now for this, for me, um, this works. If it doesn't work, then I will adjust it. Like going into June, I am still writing or doing all of my templates by hand because I actually like how that looks, but it is time consuming. So come July, I might just make my own printable, put it in here, and then look at other ways that I can use this paper. I mean, it's it's on a disbound system. If I don't use it in here, I can use it somewhere else because I really like Erin Condren paper. So, I mean, again, it's a tool. Your fork doesn't tell you what to do. A hammer doesn't tell you what to do. Your sink doesn't tell you what to do. Your planner shouldn't tell you what to do either. You are the master of your kingdom and your subjects listen to you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, so I will link and deny Jez, um channel below and once I get a list of all of the other planner ladies who are participating in this as well I will link their channels below because again we're all going to be doing something on Franken planning 
again, guys, I think as a tool, it is wonderful. I'm not sure who came up with it, but thank you um, for it. Uh, just because for me, um, it just makes me look at things in a different perspective. If you have the mountain of planners, then you can look at that as, all right, I don't need to be really concerned with the full 12 months right now or the full 18 months right now. All I need to focus on is maybe this month and next month or three months and then piecemeal it together in a way that functions for you. And if it stops functioning for you, then piece it together some way else. I mean, that's exactly how the Frankenstein monster was created. Although I think they burned him. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the movie or at least the clips of the movie that I've seen. So he didn't have a happy ending. That doesn't mean that you don't need to or won't have one. <laughs> that went weird. All right, guys, that's it for me. And as always, aloha.